I'm going to pull off a crazy play here, though. In Cairo, let's purchase a Settler. I bet that pops down what's going on with the religion. Okay, two. Oh my goodness, I'm actually a genius, dude. Pandas now, just because I did that, now the majority religion. And we can buy some dang units. No, we can't. We know we can't. We had to wait two turns to buy units, but at least we're close to being able to actually get some more missionaries out. So we can stop stressing so hard in Med Medina here. Let's get the granary. We'll get that one more food coming out. But we do need a holy site in these external cities pretty soon, dude. And yep, they're right here coming for Cairo. That's why I got my archer nearby because I know that if I put him in the city, he'll do a little bit of extra damage. So let's do that. Make you sit in the city. Have you fire on the man at arms. Good amount of damage, 40. But I mean, if this guy makes land, we're in big trouble. Luckily, we got Helmsman here and the Gallus, which is big damage. And finally, let's get back to our choke point here with the warrior. Our new settler, though, going right towards the spot over here. Gonna get our last city down. Let me check out um, what the other era scores are like, though. Last time it was purely Golden Ages. This time no Golden Ages nearby. And Dark Ages, okay, now Byzantine, that's not too close. Poland, no, 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 Tamiris. No, it looks like all the people around us are in a normal edge, which is good. So we'll have way more loyalty pressure. Looks like the Egyptians didn't pull anything too smart on us. Should be able to finish off this man at arms sitting in the river this turn. There we go. Not going to worry about the promotion just the second. We got some faith out of that. That was good. And let's make our way towards our settle down here in Cairo. Okay, it's still Panda. That's what I like to see. Now, the thing is, getting a temple would be sweet because we could build an apostle and just start fighting people to convert things to our religion. But we don't really have the gold or the faith to actually purchase an apostle when the time comes, I don't think. I don't know. This is a hard choice. Like, we could get a missionary right here, right now. Oh, and we do have, what is it? Error progress. Where can I see my dedication? Down here. So, two more movement, two more charges. Yeah, let's just buy out a missionary this second and get that guy spreading the religion all over the dang place. Just like this guy over here. We got Santa back to being a panda man. Oh, and all this time I forgot to send that envoy. Um, Candy, yes, Candy, we are gonna get you under our, okay, one plus faith and every shrine too. So what, should that give me two more faith? Wonderful. Runnery complete in Medina, let's switch back to holy site. And the city has so much housing now. I think we gotta optimize for a little bit more food, so let's stop working that plains hill. Go back to the fishes. I'm gonna keep this iron locked in though because this is a uh, four yield tile plus however much a science is worth to me, which is 10% of my total science. And four yields better than three, which is the fish and the oasis. And the only one I'd swap it out for is a crab, which is a little bit less than a three yield tile. Tamara's giving me delegation, which wants to be my friend. I like that. I see Gandhi too, no longer upset with me. Just a regular Gandhi with me. Dude. The Mogadishu warrior is doing his same thing again. You can't be serious. Get off my lands. Free military unit. Whoa. Oh, okay. Because we went to the meteor site. Apparently that gives us a free heavy chariot. I will take it. I will take it. I'm moving this guy towards the Mogadishu warrior, though. We might have to go to war with him. Just to get him out of my damn space. Like, he's just ruining my life. I want to put a city down. Luckily, he was gone for a while, but he has came back since. New builder ready in Cairo. So we don't need to be skimpy with what we're upgrading there we go more mines we got three now another four yield tile and let's move this guy towards wherever our new city is going to be at we can stop it with the builder focus though instead let's go for campus that's got a three adjacency bonus and then i got my eye on this trader buying it out sometime soon i do have enough gold oh and i have a five promote a missionary here let's move him towards wherever this new city is going to be made we're definitely going to want some of that action don't we guys egyptians back in the water Guys have not learned their lessons about getting destroyed. And we got shipbuilding so our land units can embark. That's awesome news for uh, my missionary here. They can now go over into Africa and start uh, converting cities. But it looks like we've lost Cairo. So let's double back here. Switch it back to Panda. Might cost a bit, but that's what we need to do. And here with the Mogadishu warrior. Luckily, we have a heavy chariot coming in to kill him. Like, why is he here? So annoying. Anyways, let's do some damage to this man-at-arms. One fire, and he's in the water, so archers do big damage. And my other galley, um, yeah, take one more step, and then you're gonna rest and repair. And now our guys can go into the sea, so the scout can actually start getting over, maybe find some more of the world, meet some new people. It's hard to say what text we want next, though. There's nothing we really do want slash need. I guess apprenticeship is nice for the industrial zone. Getting more production is always good. So we go horseback riding, we'll get a trade route pretty soon. That'll boost currency. And then we've already got industrial 
zone stuff. Um, boosted. Okay, we got Cairo back under our control. I think what happened is the city just went back to five population. And, um, you know, that's fair enough. If I can get rid of a population and make that city pandas, and then it can gain a population and get it back, totally fair. It helped us get our religion back and running. Ever grateful for that. Oh, look at that. Some nice Ford. Gives me XP, gives me air score. And we can keep the golden age humming. Let's improve this with a farm too. Medina is going to be a beast city, man. Beast. Ah, okay. Have you, this chariot archer keeps shooting at my swordsman. Doesn't realize that it's just going to get all its health back over and over and over again. That's okay, though, because we have our archer sitting here. Firing on it constantly. We got theology. 100% holy side adjacency bonus. We'll come back to that. Let's deal with the military stuff first. Double kill. Double kill. I repeat, that's a lot of faith coming into our coffers. Let's keep moving our warrior over to this new place. And look at that. The Mogadishu warrior left. That might be too good to be true, though. <laughs> I can't actually move into that slot just this second, so I really don't trust that that guy's not going to move over and just go right back. It's just teasing me right now. New Civic unlocked. God King is gone because we've got double adjacency bonuses on our holy sites. We're going to get a city down here. This is going to be minus five loyalty. I'm worried it could be worse, but, I mean, what are you going to do? Just got to play the... Play the game you're, you're given, hands you're dealt. Although in this case, I decided to make the game for myself. Poor decision making on my part. We don't need builders, so let's put scripture in there. At least that gives me two faith. We're gonna make a trade route soon, so that'll give me two gold. Unit maintenance is decent. Diplomatic League, I see I do have a single envoy, so we'll switch that to Charismatic Leader. Purchasing tiles would be nice, but I don't wanna make that same mistake where I leave purchasing tiles in for like 10 turns, that's just silly. So we could have five gold per turn, that's actually a lot, but let's go with Limit Danny, and that'll give us loyalty per turn. First, though, gotta get out of here. Let's go to City States and find someone we want to give two envoys to. Cardiff. Oh, all he wanted is a trade route. Where do you live, though? Too far, buddy. Too far. Singapore ought to be closer. These production city states, though, I don't know how much they really help me right now. Like one production versus Mogadishu. I get two gold, and Mogadishu's next door. That's a that's an easy choice. Let's go Mogadishu, and then let's swap out our governments how we wanted. So scripture goes in. Charismatic leader. And Limitani, definitely how you pronounce that, guys. <clears throat> if you look it up in the dictionary and it tells you how to pronounce it, that's how. Don't go back. Don't you go back. I'm watching you, bro. Oh my goodness, thank you. Thank you for leaving, man. Thank you. Okay, cruising on here. And we're in position to fix this city up pretty good. Got a three build builder. And I got my other builder with one charge left. Going back to Cairo. Speaking of Cairo, we got a galley promote. Let's go with, sure, one more site range. We can see a little bit further. Might send like a guy up to the seas. We actually have the opportunity to do that. Don't have that opportunity yet, sadly. <clears throat> I would love to make peace with these Egyptians. But honestly, we can get around their whole blocking off of my faith. Now that we don't have to go through here, we can go right to the Arabian Sea and start spreading here into Africa, which looks to be, it's in white, so I'm not sure if I just haven't seen the cities yet, and that's why they haven't told me, but I'm hoping that it's, uh, there's not too much religious pressure there, at least. Speaking of pressure, religious pressure, loyalty, we're falling at 6.3 here, that's actually not bad at all. Let's convert you to panda. Now you're only falling at 3.3. Let's improve these fishes. Oh, I thought that I had movement to do more than just that, but we'll improve those fishes next turn. And by, by putting this heavy chariot in the city, we should get that loyalty to 100%, which is what we need, what we want. We'll go monument first here because I see a couple fish I can improve as well as a farm to add to my housing, maybe another fish on the end so we can get like a tons of housing going on. We should buy some of these tiles away from the Phoenicians though. Definitely see them going for these guys. And I even want this tile, but at the same time, I need to buy a trader. So let's buy the trader. Don't have quite enough gold to do that in the end. We'll just have to wait for maybe next turn. Here in Cairo though, we can buy stuff. Uh, missionary, let's make sure it's still under my control. Thank goodness. Cairo is still under my control. Purchasing, oh, maybe we should have gone for a temple. Hmm, I think we can just hard build the temple though. And let's get another missionary out ASAP, spread this religion. Oh, there we go. We've met an Ethiopian city now that my galley has more sight range. And yes, I can see Hinduism has actually made its way here. It's pretty strong. It's pretty strong. Let's move the other galley up, though. Uh, keep these waters safe from Egyptians entering. Ah, oh, speaking of Egyptians entering, we have a whole night. That's going to be lots of fun for my swordsman to deal with. Kyra losing its pandas again. Dude, I cannot wait for apostles so I can fight off these enemies and... Turn their religious strength to my favor. In Cairo, I've got this builder coming out to the sea. I want to improve the fish. 
Actually, there's a second fish I want to improve, and that I want to snipe away from these Egyptians right now, because uh, I don't want them taking it. So this fish will actually be easier to improve, too. We don't have the impending doom of walled <clears throat> encampments firing down on anyone who tries to escort the builder. In our new city of Damascus, though, it's finally getting itself a fishing boat. Let's make sure it focuses on the food so it can grow as quick as possible. And it's got a trade route too. Where is, okay, Kabul. You're the one who wanted a trade route, right? So this will give us 4.6 gold too. Let's begin that route. And we got a Eureka for making a trade route and currency, just four more turns, right on. Zhao offered me a lot of gold for some Diplo and horses. I guess some people don't have Diplo and horses and they really need it. I'm good with that. I don't need those things. We'll fire out the night, cruise on to the fish, do a little escort here with the galley. Make sure the man at arms didn't steal my builder. Oh, man at arms in the sea. You know how that goes, dude. Fishing boat going down. Luckily, the civilians don't have to witness what happens with this man at arms. Two shots, three, and it's taken out in just one turn. The horse itself still got health, and my swordsman's got a promo. Now, technically, he's in a district. This is supposed to be a uh, campus. <laughs> We're finally getting on this continent of Africa, though. Doing a little bit of exploring. I don't think there's much opportunity here. <clears throat> Spreading pandas, at least in these top cities. Maybe if I go south, 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 I can meet some really small cities that will take on the pandas. That would be nice. Dude, way too many units here in England. My scout just, like, can't get through here. Such a roadblock. Oh, like, Harar. Have you been switched yet? You have. Dang it. You know what? But this city is actually small. We might be able to convert it. We, we'll keep searching, though. And the Egyptians continuing to make... Silly moves. You're done, buddy. You're done. Let's get some helmsmen so you can explore the sea. Cleopatra now down to just 17 combat strength. Uh, we'll only make peace if I give her all my stuff. And she has literally no army. Very weird. We're getting opals too. Love some luxuries. Um, I'm torn on whether I sell those to people. I'm sure I could find someone to give me a lot of money. Okay, what about you? 12 gold per turn. Sorry to pass up on this sort of thing. I mean, the happiness is already gonna be kind of rough, but looking at a place like Damascus, even with the happiness down three for loyalty, we're just following up 0 0.01 per turn and that city is about to grow anyways. Oh, and I gotta remember that we have 100% production towards buildings in the city center. So if any of those should be made, they should be done now. Walls, we're gonna get a bit greedy and not make walls, but Damascus getting those bonuses and I should really make monuments and granaries here in Cairo for as long as these, um, effects last it looks like 17 more turns if i hover here 17 turns so after this temple we do have the campus we want to make this is tough buddy this is tough we spent a lot of production on this temple maybe like three four turns but maybe we should just buy it up with gold and instead let's go monument we'll go granary we'll go campus and yeah we'll just spend the money to get the temple because dude we're making so much 90 76 from deals we're dealing up and down the block Currency complete. We got the commercial hub unlocked. We got an envoy we can send. We don't have um, the plus two, but that's okay. Temple, we've unlocked. That's what we're going to buy next, correct? Yes. And if we get this three envoys here, we'll get two faith in each of those temples. So I'm just going to go blindly for that. Thank you, Candy. And purchase. We're so close to getting a temple now. I do really want these tiles as well. So maybe we'll go temple, buy the tiles with our gold. And as far as improving tiles go, Damascus, it needs to get something... ASAP. Okay, if we go here and bought this for 85 gold, we wouldn't be able to get the temple. We'll just wait one turn. Or, hey, we can go here, upgrade the maze, and that'll give us one more housing as well. Ah, the Congo. Good to meet you, bud. Do you have a religion yet? Oh, you don't. Brilliant. Let's keep moving this missionary down, down, down. Peace offer here from the Egyptians. Are you even going to give me a great work? I will take that so fast. So fast, dude. I do not need to be fighting you. And that great work, that's making up like a quarter of my of my culture, dude. Let's get spending all this gold. We got temple that belongs to me. Now we can purchase missionaries and apostles. Apostles, pretty expensive, 280 faith. But we got this missionary sitting here with three more spreads. Cairo keeps sort of going back and forth between pandas and not. Um, but as long as we can keep missionary here to make sure this remains panda we're fine damascus hitting two pop and now loyalty not an issue 29 turns still growth but when we get this farm we get housing and that gets cut right in half love to see it um we also have gold which, with which we can buy fish i'm gonna save it up though to buy these desert tiles and just cut off baruta from expanding any further into this arabian peninsula i don't know where the oil is gonna lie here i need to make sure that that belongs to me mount kilimanjaro beautiful sight to see and we could keep going. Oh yeah, that, that was the Congo city we already met. Another Congo city. Oh, sorry bud. Another Congo city. 
And it looks to be under no religion either. Perfect. Perfect for me. English really like me. They want to give me money. Make an embassy. And now we got gold. So let's buy one tile. Next turn we'll have gold here and Sana to buy the other one. We'll purchase that. Thank you very much. And now Biruta <clears throat> quite boxed in. I'd like to get as many of these sea tiles as I can here to in Damascus. That's where we got that monument complete. We'll go Granary next. We want to get as many of these tiles as we can. Just because uh, later on in the game, we're already in the mid game really, but for us it's still early. Later on we're going to want as many of those sea tiles. We'll upgrade those with uh, lighthouse, shipyard, seaports, um, and work those for yields. Because the desert tiles, they don't do much for your yields, dude. Not much at all. Monument complete in Cairo. Let's get onto the campus. Shaka the Zula, another man with some crazy abs. You should meet Gaul, dude. You might be a little bit north up in Europe for yourself, but you guys would be great buddies. Steroid gang. Recorded history, 100% campus district adjacency bonuses. We're gonna need that when we actually have the campus itself, but I'm so glad to say we have a new governor. We're gonna put Moksha here <coughs> in Cairo. That's gonna double the religious spread from our holy city. Victor can go into Damascus with its loyalty problems. And we can change up our cards too. We definitely don't need the loyalty anymore with this wild card policy. I do like buying tiles. And if you look at civics, just six turns so we get games and recreation. So maybe it would be an opportunity there. At the same time though, I wanna save up my gold. Smed it here in Medina. Although five turns from now, we'll have a lot more gold. So sure, let's go ahead and buy a whole ton of tiles up. And I think that's all we have to change. City with the buying, definitely gonna be Damascus here. Now we've got one of these fish under our control. I'd like to get both. So let's get this fish and then let's pick up a bunch of these cheap uh, coastal tiles too. Three of them there for 68 bucks. I will take that. Oh, dude, Harard just uh, raised off the face of the map. Didn't even mean to see that, but some atrocities taking place. Sana needs more housing, indeed. Okay, let's stop focusing food. Let's swap you this high, high production tile. Get another guy working on a production tile. Audience chamber coming through in just two turns. Since there's a governor here, that'll give us the housing right back. But for now, we'll work production here in Medina. We have plenty of housing, and we want to work as much food as we possibly can. Seems like my guys are doing a good job of that. In Damascus, we've got two pop, one working food, one working production. City's still going to grow in eight turns. Uh, I do kind of want a bit more food, but when you compare it to production, sorry, two yield fish tile, versus the four yield opals, almost five yields because look at this gold difference. Like th this opal tile just gives you so much more bang for your buck. Okay, well we still have that cheap tile purchasing too. Let's grab one more coast, $68 coast. And we can even buy into the hearts of the Indian empire too. Thanks for watching Panda Gang. When I hit a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna actually pay for Windows, so make sure to subscribe. Peace.